cool. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are in the kitchen and that means one thing, we are making cookies. I mean that doesn't mean one thing because we do quite a lot in the kitchen but today we're going to make Christmas cookies and I'm excited about it. We are going to make some, I guess they're like sugar cookies. Um, I don't really know what they are, but we're going to make some like lemon biscuits with lemon icing on them. Let's get our hair up, our hands washed, and let's get ready to make some biscuits. Some biscuits. Biscuits. So I've took my hair extensions out, I've chopped my hair up, and now I'm going to quickly wash my hands, and then we're going to make some biscuits. <laughs> Ingredients we are going to use is, we're going to need some plain flour, caster sugar, butter, um, I like to use proper butter when I make biscuits, um, margarine and like the cake butter that you can get which is more like a spread, like a soft spread is better for like cakes and stuff but when you're making biscuits you kind of really want to have like some proper butter because otherwise they kind of just go really flat and like sort of melt. Some cinnamon, one egg, we are going to have some lemon biscuits and we're going to use this for the, the zest for the cookies. For the icing, you're gonna need some icing sugar and the juice of this lemon. So you're only gonna need one lemon. I have one of those fancy island things. So um, I've set up an ironing board to do this on. So it's gonna be a little bit wobbly, but it'll be all right. You're gonna need 225 grams of cold butter. Wow, I did so good, 224. Tiny bit more. But you pretty much use that whole block of butter, so as you can guess, these biscuits aren't going to be very healthy, but it's Christmas, so it's fine. That is just cut it into cubes. Should we do some of that ASMR stuff where they're like, like this? Whoa, this is fun. Should we try and do a curly? Now we're going to need 140 grams of pasta sugar, so I'm going to chuck this in here. And then it says that we need one whole rind of a lemon, so I'm just going to zest that real quick and then chuck that in there as well. And then we just basically mix it all up until it's light and fluffy. So. One eternity later. You're going to work off all the calories from the biscuits that you're going to eat before you eat them by doing this because this is hard work because you have to, it's like cold butter because it's better to have cold butter when you have biscuits so it's so hard and it's quite hard to get it to this stage but when you get there it's good so you want to get it to like creamy consistency like this So, oh, that should be enough. <sighs> I think I'm gonna be aching tomorrow from this. And now we're gonna wanna put in an egg yolk. I'm gonna plop that in. And we mix that in. Whoa, come back here. So, I didn't realise my camera actually stopped recording when I was doing the flour and the cinnamon I think. After I mixed the butter, sugar and egg yolk together, um, I creamed it all together, you saw that I think, and then I added a half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and then I added 280 grams of plain flour and then I mixed it all together to form balls. We now have two balls of cookie dough or biscuit dough and these have been sitting in the fridge for about 50 minutes. Um, it's said to leave it into the fridge um, for about 40 to 60 minutes so I left it in for about 50 minutes and now I guess we're going to roll them out and make some pretty shapes with them. So at this point you now want to put your oven on to 180 so that it's preheating and I'm just going to get some baking sheets ready with some baking paper and then we're going to get rolling. Let's go! I'm going to put some flour onto the surface and then we're going to roll this out. Right. We give it a pat and then what I like to do is have a little bit of flour here 
And I like to dip my cutter into that first. I don't know why, but I think it stops it from sticking. And I'm just going to cut out some pretty shapes. So I'm going to go right up to this edge actually. So I'm going to do Christmas trees first. Oh, so cute. Look how cute they are. I'm going to put them in for 10 minutes. Um, only because I think they're quite thin, so I don't think they're going to need that long. Um, I'm going to put them in for 10 and then I'm going to check them. So for the icing, we are going to need some icing sugar, a sieve. Oh, oh, oh. That could have gone bad, bad. 225 grams. I mean, we nearly lost the whole ironing board on the floor. We make a magical mess of icing sugar. Tis the season to be jolly, la 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 la. Okay, that's 110, so we need some more. Bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, jingle bell swing, and who loves that film? I think I'm gonna watch that actually after. Cut this lemon in halfsies. I want the, the icing to be like super lemony, so I'm gonna put like the whole lemon in. <gasps> but I get it to like, a really thick paste and then I will add like the tiniest bit of water like that I think I'm gonna put a little bit more just a touch okay mmm oh that's so lemony wow I mean you can do your icing to how you want it but I sort of like it like this consistency like a little bit golden around the edges don't touch them yet they're gonna be really really soft so try not to touch them for a minute just let them cool down a little bit first and then transfer them to like a cool wire rack so I'm gonna let them cool for a couple of minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack okay so now we're gonna do the fun bit and do the icing so I've prepped my icing I've put it in my icing bag if you want to fill up an icing bag and you haven't got anyone to help you wrap the wrap the icing bag around a glass or a cup and it's like you just spoon it in like that and then when you pick it up it's like all in there nice and clean and neat So I'm going to put that back on the cooling rack just to for that icing to harden up a little bit. Okay, our cookies are all done. Here's what they look like. So you got the Christmas trees, that one got a bit snowy. You got the little gingerbread men looking ones and some hearts. And then we got the hearts and stars. That one I was just trying to use up all the icing to be honest. And I've still got tons left so maybe cut down on the icing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i will see you all very very soon if i don't see you before have such a lovely christmas and a very happy new year merry christmas bye